Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this summer nights wrap. This is a beginner friendly pattern because it only uses one stitch and that's all you need to know to create this beautiful wrap. In here what makes it special is the different color combinations. This is the perfect accessory um, that you need for your spring summer nights where it's a little bit chilly and you need to throw something on this is gonna do it for you and it's so easy to make, believe me and the entire reading pattern all the instructions, the materials, measurements everything that you need to know is always on my blog the link is going to be in the description of this video so please check that out because you have everything that you need to know right there. Now let's see the materials that you need to make this beautiful shawl. Okay, so you're gonna need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a tapestry needle, and your yarn. These are the five colors that I'm using. You are gonna need a DK weight yarn or category three. The specific yarn that I'm using right here, it's from my home country, so it's going to be very difficult for you to find it in North America. Um, but I'm going to leave links in the description box below with alternatives of yarn that you can find that are easier to find in here. Um, but these are the five colors that I use, and like I said, it's category 3 DK weight. Okay, I'm going to be using this sandy color, it's very light, so easier for you to see the stitches and everything. And I'm going to make a small sample so you can see how this stitch is worked. But you will obviously need to make the, the bigger version to create this shawl. Okay, and the amount of rows, etc. So for this project, for this specific shawl, you are going to need a foundation chain of 103 chains. Okay, so begin with a slip knot and chain 103 chains. And like I said, I'm doing less in here because this is just a small sample for you guys to see the stitch and everything. Okay, so begin with your foundation chain. Again, you need 103 chains. Now, in the fourth chain from the hook, you're going to double crochet one. So insert your hook and double crochet. Now, you're going to skip two chains and you're going to do this special stitch, which is the V stitch. And for the V stitch, all you need to do is double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in that same chain. And this is the V stitch. Because as you can see, it looks like a little V, right? Okay, so now skip two chains, one, two, and in the third, insert your hook and make a V stitch. And the V stitch is double crochet, chain, double crochet in the same chain. Now skip two chains. one two and in the third v stitch again and you are going to repeat this sequence all the way down okay so all the way along your chain because this is a small swatch i'm already done with my row and you need to have three chains left we're gonna skip two and in the last one you're going to double crochet one We're done with row one. 
Now we're gonna start row number two and this is the row that you need to repeat over and over and over again for the number of rows that this pattern calls for. Okay, so row number two, chain four, one, two, three, four, turn, and double crochet in this very first space right here, right there, double crochet, and now you're going to skip two stitches, and in the third you're going to do the V stitch again. Or if you want to see it this way, the V stitch from the previous row, you're going to do the new V stitch in the second post, so this one. Right here, you are going to make another V stitch. So double crochet, chain, double crochet in that same space. Now skip two and in the third V stitch or like I said in the second post of the V stitch from the previous row whichever it is easier for you to remember I always tend to see the second post of the V stitch from the previous row or the second double crochet rather than counting um, the chains or the spaces to skip. <laughs> so now we're at the end of the row number two and you need to have left one double crochet from the previous row and the turning chain. So this is what we have left. Now we're gonna do the last double crochet in the third chain of your turning chain from the previous row. Not the double crochet, but the turning chain. So count three chains, and in the third one, you're going to insert your hook right there and double crochet. Double crochet. And that's the only row that you need to repeat over and over again. It's row number two. I'm gonna do it one more time so you can see it. We start with four chains, turn your work, double crochet in that very first space available, and now V stitch in the second post of the V stitch from the previous row. This one, not the first one, but the second one. Okay, right there. And the V stitch is double crochet, chain, double crochet in the same space. And again, or you can count like I did in here. One, two, and in the third space, we do the V stitch. And continue all the way across your row the same pattern until you have two stitches left which is the double crochet from the previous row and the turning chain that you can see in here we have the double crochet and the turning chain and in that turning chain in the third chain we're going to double crochet one so insert your hook in that third chain and double crochet. And now I'm going to show you how to change colors. And this is all you need to know, guys, to make this beautiful pattern, this beautiful wrap. Believe it or not, that's all you need to know. <laughs> so now let's change the color. So I'm going to undo the last stitch, which is the double crochet, because we're going to change the color in the very last step of the double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook and start the double crochet. And in here to finish, we would have to wrap the yarn around our hook and slip through. 
and that's how we would have the double crochet done right but now instead we're going to do the same thing with the new color which is this nice mustard that I have in here leave a nice and long tail so you can weave in the end after and pull through those two loops now pull the two tails to make sure this stitch is nice and tight and then begin with your new row with a new color so chain four and then start everything again making sure you're pulling those two tails so that it's nice and tight and secure and now continue crocheting with the new color and when you're done with the new color um, make sure to weave in the end I suggest you do it after a few rows of changing colors because if not you're gonna end up with <laughs> a project full of tails to weave in and what I do in here is go around to weave in the ends because it's very it's a very lazy pattern so you want to make sure you are going through the sides but yeah that's all you need to know to make this beautiful shawl i hope you guys enjoyed so please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on social media if you have questions please leave them down below and remember that you have the reading instructions the amount of rows per colors everything it's going to be on my blog the link is always in the description box below so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye